In this class, we are going to learn how to list the messages or emails in our mailbox with the help of Microsoft Graph APIs for mail. I am here in the official documentation page by Microsoft on using Microsoft Graph REST APIs. From the table of content that is on the left side, we need to traverse to this mail section. Under that, we have the section called as message. If you click on this, that is the message. You will get the message resource type page open. Here you can read through the documentation available. Coming to the methods, our focus of interest for this class is listing the emails or the messages present in our mailbox. We can click on this hyperlink over here or we can directly click on the table of content for list messages and go to the documentation for the same. Here Microsoft has provided in detail description on how we can configure our REST API client so that we can communicate with Microsoft mailbox with the help of those graph APIs. I will go through this documentation at high level. As Microsoft says, we can get the messages that is the signed in users mailbox including deleted items and the cluttered folders. So this list messages with the help of this API, we can get the mails available in all the folders present in our mailbox, which includes the deleted items as well as the cluttered folders. We can customize the number of mails which we can get in each API call that is with the help of this top query parameter. I will show you shortly how we can make use of this top as well as the skip over here. Those query parameters that is top and skip can be used in a combination and we can create a pagination. Suppose if you are creating a UI wherein you have a pagination where you can traverse between the pages and get the detail about the top 10 or top 100 or so on and so forth in single page then we can have this over here. Also we are having couple of query parameters like the select. Suppose in the response we are having n number of properties for a particular mailbox like a sender details to or CC and the message, body, subjects and so forth and we are interested on only few properties for the mail then we can make use of this select and we can restrict the number of properties that are displayed in the response. Also there is this odata.next link with the help of which we can access next page in the API. Like suppose in one call we are getting top 10 mails then in next API call that is what is available over here in OD data next link this is the hyperlink we can use in order to access next page and that call will have again this od data next link that we can make use and access next page so like this we can go through the page by page approach also there is a pagination microsoft graph data in your app how we can build paginations in your application that is available over here you can go through the documentations let me just go forward in this documentation here there are a couple of permissions we had already seen how we can register our application in Azure portal where we had learned how we can grant the permissions as a application permissions and as well as for the delegated permissions you can have a detailed look on that. Now if I scroll down for the demonstration purpose I am making use of my personal Microsoft account that is outlook.com I am making use of those permissions I will show you where I have added this while configuring the postman client. If you are making use of this delegated that is work or your organization's account or school account, we can make use of those permissions. And if you are creating an application permissions, then you can make use of those permissions over here. Only difference is mail read basic will be for delegated and for application it will be mail read basic dot all. Here is the sample request and the response provided by Microsoft with the help of which we can build our API request or the payload. And also at the high level, Microsoft has documented how we can make use of this filter and order by query parameters in our request and the response what are the common error codes we will get if we don't add this filter and order by query parameters as per the documentation this is highlighted over here now without wasting much time let's switch over to the postman client and go through the hands-on i am here in the postman client i have already created a collection for this with the name ms graph mails api and i have created a request that is list messages and I have provided the URL over here. Now you might get a question like how did I arrive at this URL. If I switch over to this documentation page, here is the sample provided by Microsoft. So I have copied exactly similar thing from here and copied and pasted in the Postman client. Next, under authorization, we need to select the type as Auth 2.0. As this Microsoft Graph API supports Outlook 2.0 authentication, we need to go for this. You can check out our previous classes in order to know in detail how we can set up these things. Now coming to the scope, as I told, I have 
made use of my personal mail account for that these are the permissions required if we scroll up here there are the permissions available we need to just exactly copy from here and paste in our postman client only difference will be the comma should be separated with the space over here apart from this we don't have any other things which is exclusive for the graph api now the http request which is required for this list messages api call is get i have selected that and click on send before clicking on send we have to make sure we get the latest token from here once you have the latest token click on this send now i have got the 200 status over here and i could see the messages available in my mailbox i will show you the mailbox how it looks this is the mailbox i am having couple of emails in my inbox and in junk email and the deleted items i have few emails so all those things will be displayed over here as I told, if I scroll up little bit so that we get a bigger window to view the details. Now, if you see, we are having the OD data context and then it will tell you what is the email ID or the account for which we are accessing this API for. Next, under the properties, which is denoted by this value, we are having the ID. Every mail is associated with a unique ID in our account. So, this is identified this by this ID. When was this created? Change key, categories, received date time, send date time, has attachments. If there is no attachment, it will be false. I don't have any attachments right now. But in our classes going ahead, we'll learn how we can attach the files and send an email. Also, how we can read the attachments with the help of API. When we are having a subject, body preview, important, and so and so forth things available for any mail. And if we scroll down, we are having a sender details, from details, to recipient, CC, if any, we will have reply to, flag, etc. Now, if we scroll down, so this will list only top 10 emails in your mailbox suppose if you want to access next 10 records then you can make use of this url as i told at the beginning of this class we are having the o data dot next link so if we copy this and access this link over here in the postman what it does is it will fetch next top 10 mails in your mailbox but it will skip first 10 that is 10 will be displayed over here so that it will skip and next 10 it will list in the response now i will add few query parameters now let me go to the documentation and see what query parameter i need to use scroll down now here if you see they have added a query parameter in order to fetch only sender and the subject let me copy this from here and paste it here just make sure you put the question mark like we use in any rest api calls when we add the query parameter now if you see in the properties we are having n number of properties over here like sender subject is r1 among them that is subject and the sender now instead of sender if you want the from we can just copy from here and put comma and add if you want the id we can add id if you want the received date tab we can just copy from here and paste it over here and click on send now we will get only those details within the properties for a mail like the id received date tab subject sender and from apart from this we won't get any other details so like this we can fetch only those properties in which we are interested in now let me go back to this documentation if we scroll up there are couple of more query parameters highlighted over here that is filter and order by when we add this order by and filter these three things are important to note first thing is properties which are appearing in order by clause must also appear in filter okay next thing is properties that appear in order by are in the same order in the filter as well properties that are present in order by appear in filter before any other properties that aren't also make sure that order by is always first query parameter followed by filter also make sure in filter we add those properties which are there in order by as well now let me switch over to the postman here i will add one property for order by let me add here order and by let me check the syntax whether it's same here it's order followed by by which is equal to i will separate those two query parameters with the ampersand symbol i want to order the mails based on the received date time and in the decreasing order let me copy and paste it over here with the space and decreasing i will add ampersand over here and add the filter clause is equal to now based on what i want to filter i want to filter based on the email address i want to get only the those emails which are sent from microsoft.com that is this one let me copy this from here here we need to give the xpath for the from address that is from slash email 
address slash address space and it is equal to within the single quotes we need to provide the address. Now we had one more clause over here that is properties which appear in the order by must be present in filter as well. Now for that purpose what I will do is I will put the and condition over here because the condition which we have put in order by it should be first within the filter. Now I will separate this with and clause. Now here I will add received date time which must be less than or equal to today's date time. I am recording this class on 23rd of October 2022. I will add the date over here and it should be in ISO format. Once you add those details we need to click on send. Now if you click on send we are getting only those emails which are sent from this microsoft.com address. So like this with the help of this we can restrict the details what we get from this graph API for list messages. Now in this class we had seen how we can access the messages or list the number of messages or the emails present in our mailbox with the help of graph API. We had seen how we can fetch all then we had seen how we can restrict and get only those properties in the response in which we are interested in like the sender, subject, form, id etc. Then we had seen how we can filter based on a particular email address like we are interested in getting only those emails which are sent from specific email address then we are filtering. Also we had seen how we can order the response like if I want to get the mails in a decreasing timestamp format then we can do. Only make sure those three properties are satisfied when you go for order by and filter. In case if you don't satisfy this criteria then you will get in the response inefficient filter. So as soon as you get this error you can correct. In our next classes we will learn one by one all those APIs over here.